Hi, let's look at the practical application you are developing here. So this is a mobile application developed using Apple iOS Swift programming language. So the source code you will be creating, uh, this is the source code. And when you run it, you will learn how to uh, develop this calculator and the operations plus subtract will work clear. So you will learn the complete GUI development and you will learn about event handling and you will learn about uh, basically how to create a complete simple mobile application using uh, Apple iOS. So let's see how to do it now. Hi everyone, welcome to Apple iOS Swift mobile application development. Complete project calculator part one GUI. We'll be using these tools for this lecture Make sure to cover these prerequisites before you do this uh, practical. So in this session, you will learn about creating a calculator GUI and about the GUI constraints. As usual, it's going to be practical demonstrations. So let's go and do the practical now. So let's create a new Xcode project now. So let's press Control uh, sub command space bar. And then let's type Xcode to start the Xcode IDE. And once it starts, we will create a new project. We will create a new project now. So create uh, this option, create a new Xcode project. And then select uh, Mac OS. Uh, the options are the iOS and Mac OS. So this is a mobile app. So select iOS and select app. And click Next. So give a meaningful project name and um, make sure to select the language as Swift. And the interface should be storyboard over here. So uh, let's call it as calculator and click next. And then give a location to save this uh, project. So select a location and click create. So this will create the project and uh, so it will be in the Swift language. So once it creates a project, you will get into this screen. So the first thing is to uh, select on the main and get into the main storyboard. So once you are in the main storyboard, now uh, you can uh, start creating the GUI. So first of all, we need to get the component library. For that, you can uh, click Shift, Command and L. So when you click uh, Shift, Command and L, it loads the uh, library. So first of all, let's put a label, drag a label and put it over here. And then uh, let's call it as a calculator in the property palette. And let's uh, give a color. Let's select uh, some color from this. And then you can give some uh, font options. So let's give a font size and you can select the style as bold and then uh, give a decent font size and click done. So change the font size uh, from over here, uh, from the property palette and, and then move, just uh, move, move this to a, a suitable location. Then we have to put constraints. So let's click on this and press the control key from the keyboard and drag from the mouse. And let's say uh, top space to the safe area. And then we can center this. So for that, just again, click uh, control and drag from the mouse and you can say center horizontally. So that's the first label. So then again, press control, uh, shift command and L. Once again, shift command and L to get the library. Then put another label and then again uh, in the property palette over here, just say it's uh, number one. And once again, uh, do the same, give some font size and uh, do, uh, do that. We can do that part. So now uh, you have to position this, place the constraints. So uh, click on the control key and mouse drag and say uh, vertical spacing. And then again, control, drag from the mouse and say leading space to the safe area. Okay, and then again, get the library. 
uh, shift command L and then get for a text field so drag it over here right uh, the text field so it's because it's white color better to give a different color so just to distinguish so let's select uh, some uh, color okay, let's do that so it's not color it should be the background color so further down in the property palette attribute inspector so uh, click on the background and provide uh, a reasonable background color okay and then constrain this uh, so when you constrain this again control mouse drag and say uh, horizontal spacing so you have to give at least two constraints so uh, so then again drag into this and you can say uh, constrain it to the top okay and then uh, if you want to do any adjustments you can click down over here and uh, if it's enabled you can click on this let's see if it's enabled update frames yeah just click on that over here bottom update frames okay so you can resize uh, resize it a bit so now uh, what you have to do is you can copy this and uh, press com com command c and then command v so you just paste so that you can get the same look and look and feel and then just position uh, wherever you want but still you will have to add constraints then do the same thing for this command c and command v one more time and then just uh, drag them uh, like this but still you will have to give the constraints now let's give the constraints so click on this and you can constrain uh, control mouse drag and say vertical spacing and then to align it to the uh, first label again control drag and you can say leading so that it aligns to the leading edge then click on this and constrain this uh, let's say uh, let's let's check it so constrain this uh, drag to this and say constrain to the top and then also control drag to this and say leading edge and uh, if necessary update the frames and resize it so at least you have to give two constraints then do the same thing for this and this so uh, control drag and say uh, vertical spacing and then control drag and say leading edge this one control drag uh, let's do it like this control drag to this and say to the top and control drag to this and say leading edge and then resize it and then click on the label and then uh, call it in the proper attribute inspector put it as number two and over here in the attribute inspector put it as answer okay now uh, again get the library shift command l and type for button uh, drag uh, a button and then again uh, gives uh, from the attribute inspector give some properties make make some properties such as the background uh, you you can make let's say uh, can give let's say ash color and then give some font uh, styles uh, font sizes let's put uh, the text title as plus so it's going to be a plus button so you've got a couple of other options for buttons so uh, you can get if you want a field button so let's put a field button over here and then let's call it as uh, plus and then uh, let's click on the font and uh, select system and you can say bold and the size you can say 25 and click done 
Okay, so you got one button. So now you can copy this button. Command C, Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V, and then just place this, place this over here, this one over here, and this one over here, and uh, just give some extra spacing, and then put it over here, down. And then uh, put this as the subtract button. Uh, go to the proper, uh, attribute inspector and make it as divide. And select this and make this as multiply. And then uh, put the title here as uh, clear. Okay, and then you have to uh, give the constraints. So click on this button. And uh, so control drag this to this and let's say um, vertical spacing and again control drag and say leading edge. So this one control drag to this uh, and say horizontal spacing and control drag and uh, align it to the top. Same here control drag to this horizontal spacing, control drag and align it to the top, control drag, horizontal spacing, control drag, align to the top. The clear button, control drag to this and say horizontal, uh, actually it's vertical spacing and then uh, okay, if you can center this to the screen, so you can control drag over here and say center horizontally in safe area. Okay, so with this, let's click the run button and see how uh, the output looks. So from here, select the device, right? Uh, over here, select the device to check it. So let's say iPhone 13 Pro and then click the start button. So this should load the emulator and should display the output. So if you have placed your constraint, uh, if you put your constraints properly, you will see uh, this outcome, right? You will see it uh, like this. Okay, awesome. So now let's look. Uh, let's add an image uh, below this. And the font size looks little larger. Let's reduce the font size also of the button. So to add an image, you will uh, go to the library. Uh, shift command L and then type image and drag the image view over here and give uh, control uh, constraints say vertical spacing and then uh, you have to download a suitable image make sure you download copyright free images so download the image so I got we got one image here so then what you do is uh, in the project, you will go to the assets over here from left hand side assets. So and then click on assets and then click on the plus over here bottom and say image set and then give a meaningful name. So let's say calculator. So then you will get uh, the one x two x three x images. Actually, you need to have a suitable one x two x three x images. But I'm dragging the same image. But make sure you select suitable 1x, 2x, 3x images. So if you don't know about what is 1x, 2x, 3x, look at the other uh, uh, lessons in this series. Okay, so you got the calculator image. So now again click on the main storyboard and then click on the UI uh, image view and then click on the images or the attribute inspector and select the calculator which you created now, the image. Awesome. So then what you can do is uh, you put one constraint. So you can put another constraint to center the image. You can say center horizontally in the safe area. Okay. Awesome. So now you will see uh, in the simulator, you will see this is the simulated output, right? You can run this on the real device. So if you need to know how to run this in the real iPhone device, uh, look at the other uh, le uh, lessons in this series. So now it's running on a simulator, right? 
And now if I put, let's say, if I click over here and put uh, some numbers, let's say two different numbers over here. And let's click plus, but these actions are not working. The clear is not working. So that is what we have to do next. But in this part, what we did was we completed the uh, uh, calculator using Apple iOS Swift programming language, right? The Swift. So the next part will be to develop uh, the uh, event handling of this. So we completed the practical demonstration. And the conclusion is you learn about creating the GUI using uh, Swift and uh, about the constraints. You, you need to put the constraints, otherwise the uh, components will not be in the right places. So we used Apple Developer Docs and API for references. So have a look at the other videos and especially look at the next part to uh, complete uh, the event handling part and to write the code for the buttons. So we are very excited to see you in our next lesson. See you in the next lesson to complete this.